Have you ever had some amazingly good news that you didn't expect? Like when I heard that a publisher wanted to publish my book, I didn't expect that. Well, the Bible is full of good news and it was sent to a young lady who didn't expect such an honour. Imagine how she might have felt as you listen to this poem. Gabriel's an angel, God's messenger sent down to talk to a young lady in a small forgotten town. Mary, that's the lady, had a plan and in good time she was due to marry Joseph, coming from a royal line. Joseph, now just a carpenter, but in his family tree, King David was an ancestor. And as a king, you see, God had promised that another king would rule forevermore. So when Gabriel spoke to Mary, he had big news in store. Greetings, called the angel. The Lord is pleased with you. Mary stopped and stared, waited, wondering what she was to do. Don't be afraid, young Mary, but listen well to me. You're going to have a baby, call him Jesus, and you'll see he will be so great and wonderful, the son of the Most High. As an ancestor of David, he'll be king, and you'll see why God has given his son Jesus, for his kingdom and his love will last into eternity, a gift from God above. Mary couldn't understand it. Her eyes were wide. I don't know why God has chosen me or how I'll be a mum, was her reply. Leave it all up to God's spirit. You will have God's only son. I know it seems impossible, but more is still to come. Well, Mary said, it's up to God. I am his and he knows best. I'll do what he has asked me to and let him do the rest. Mary was very trusting, wasn't she? She was very young and people wouldn't understand that this baby was from God. She had to be very sure that he knew what he was doing. As a Christian, I'm called to trust God too, even when I don't understand what's going on or people don't believe me. I'm very glad Mary did trust and obey God. The good news about this new baby was that he would be king forever and bring hope to millions of people, including me.